Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Visio. In this module, we're going to look at how you can use a pivot diagram to manipulate linked data from an Excel spreadsheet. So I'm on the home area in the backstage view and there I've got a pivot diagram, which I'm now going to open and create. The first step is follow the wizard and select the data source, in my case, Excel. Uh, you've got other options there you can see. I'll just go next. Now either browse for it or if you've already used it, so this data source file is the one I want to use. Click next. Now that is a named range in that file that I'm going to use, but you'd, if you would have other options in there, maybe it just says sheet one or whatever if you've not named the sheet. This area there says first row of data contains the column headings. Yes, it does. Follow it through. Next. Now you've got the column options here. I'm going to leave all those as they are. Cancel that. And then you can see how it looks when it comes through. So we're going to cancel that. But if you want, you can cherry pick whichever columns you want to come through. But I named a range in Excel. So that is a range I want. And that's got the columns in uh, the range that I want. Follow it through. Next. It says click finish to continue. So I will. What it does is create a pivot node and then gives you the options of selecting items from the category and whether you want it total. So at the minute it's got date. I don't want date on there. So what I want is spend. So I'll just tick spend. So it gives you the total spend of that spreadsheet. Now what you do is you add the categories to the node. So let's look at this. So let's go for department. It takes a couple of seconds to load department. So it will drop the department underneath that node. And you can see it sitting there like that. So there's all the departments. If I click off it, you've got customer service, fabrication, finance, etc., etc., and the relevant spend. Now, if you don't want it to go across like that, if I click on this, you've got the option on the pivot diagram tab to change the alignment if you so wish. So if I go, for example, top, that drops it down like that. Now, I don't want it like that, so I'm just going to go undo. I do want it like this. And let's have a look at customer services. So if I click on customer services, what can I do there? Let's have a look at colleagues in customer services. So what that's going to do is drop the colleagues that work in customer service underneath that box. Again, it takes a couple of seconds to drop in and then eventually it will. So only one person, Gary Reed. So let's go for HR, see who's in that. And this is what you do. You just manipulate things or you can delete things. You can group things together. It's totally up to you. Again, it takes a few seconds for it to drop in. And then as soon as it does, you'll see the box coming up. So one person in each of these departments at the moment that I've chosen. Now, if you don't want that, say I don't want that, I'll delete that. I'll delete him and you can reset this. If you want to delete by department, delete the departments. Whichever ones you want to get rid of, you can just delete them. Or the whole thing, get rid of it. Let's go for, click on that one, colleague. So this should give us a list of colleagues. So it's just manipulating the data from that Excel spreadsheet. So now if I go colleague, so this is a colleague, and then you've got location maybe, or department. It's just going to give one box. So if I go, let's undo this one, Control Z, that one. Let's go for location, and then colleagues. We can see where people are at. So you are just virtually manipulating all of this. So this is all the locations. So then if I go colleague, you'll get the colleagues coming out of that location if there are any. Well, there will be. Okay, so all of these are in this one. So I want it to come down top. So now I'll get it to come down. So the pivot's moved around a little bit. I've just pivoted that across. 
So if I then click on Beric and do colleague on Beric, it'll drop them out on as well. You can also use this merge feature to merge different things together. So you, you maybe want to group things that are in the same county. You can merge them together and it creates one box. So click on that alignment top, bring it back up so you can see the people that are in there. And again, if you wanted to, if I go on there, so we've got location, colleague, department for this person. And you, you basically just create in your diagram how you want it to look. And you can, as I've shown you already, you can just delete things off if you don't want them. Just wait for this one to drop in. Just one person. Fabrication. So Carol Mason is in fabrication in Berwick. Now, if I just do that merge one, I'll just do these two. Let's say I want to merge these into one. So we've got six, so about 11,000 or something. So I merge, let them be one thing. It's probably not going to be done with people, more likely uh, locations, but you'll get the idea as it, as it drops it in as a single box combined together. And there it is. So that's them two merged together. Colin Jones and Gary Reed. So you've got the merge feature and then you can obviously unmerge it if you so wish. And then it's back as it was. So if you don't want to see this data, um, you can just collapse it. Rather than deleting it like I did before, you can just collapse it, which basically does the same thing. It just hides it all. And then if you want it again, you've got to bring it back in and it'll drop it in there again which is obviously quicker than just deleting off like I did one by one, which is okay if you just want to delete, delete one thing like that. Otherwise, it's quite a long-winded process. So basically, that's a very quick look at a pivot diagram. As with all linked data, you have to refresh the source data if it changes so that the diagram reflects that change. But that's all I want to talk about on this little video. Hopefully, that was of use. Thank you for your time, and I'll catch you on the next one.